whoever said winning isn't everything obviously didn't win much. Uh, yeah, I love to win. I'm not playing sport to make friends. I make a lot along the way, but I have a goal and that's to be the best in the world as an individual and as a team. Good sporting pedigree. Grandfather played Davis Cup. I come from a big family and sport's a, a huge part of that. So to know that Pa was a phenomenal tennis player and golfer, it kind of just spurred me on to, to be the best I could be in, in my chosen field. You only played water polo because your three elder siblings were playing. Did you fall in love with it once you started or did you always want to play? I actually didn't know anything about water polo. I was a keen surf lifesaver and basketballer and I thought, yeah, I'm going to go to the Olympics for basketball and then I saw this bizarre sport being played by my siblings and as the fourth kid you kind of get thrown in the deep end and I played a game was absolutely shocking and, um, and loved it so my love from there hasn't, hasn't stopped. You were very good very early, but I'm told when you were 12 and not selected for the under 14 state side, that was almost the turning point. Yeah, it was 100% the turning point. So my older sister got picked in the team. So while I had to be the good little sister and be proud of her, it sucked that I didn't make it. And I was a mixture between upset, embarrassed, and I thought to myself, I'm never going to let this happen again. So. I took myself off to swim training, became a better swimmer, worked on my ball skills and now compete with the best in the world. There's a tattoo, I think, on your ribs. Yep. One life, no regrets. Where did that come from? I think it's, you know, a saying that my whole family's been brought up with, to be honest. And I think that every day is an experience and, you know, some days you, you might make a mistake or get it wrong, but as long as you learn from it and become a better person, then it's not a regret. I was speaking to one of your teammates and they said you're the best water polo player in the world. Is that a fact? Look, I don't know if it's a fact, but I'm definitely up there with the top, the top picks. So if that can win me a gold medal and I can help my team to a gold medal, that's, that's good enough. When you think of Rio sitting here now, what do you immediately feel? Standing up there with yourself and the other 12 girls, seeing your flag and your friends and family there supporting you, that's, that's what you train day in, day out for, that experience. And it, it gives me chills thinking that we've got the chance to reproduce greatness.